My talk will be about how to decide the amount of glaucoma damage using disc and field changes. This is important when you are choosing a target intraocular pressure for your patient. If the damage is marked, then you should go for low intraocular pressure. If the damage is minimal, then you can go for high intraocular pressure. So should we depend on the field or the disc or both? I'm gonna explain to you three systems. You can choose one of them and follow during your practice. This is the first system. It was published back in 1993 in the book of Clinical Decisions in Glaucoma by Hotbeck, Parrish and Ederson. They postulated that we look at the mean deviation. If the mean deviation is less than 6, it's mild glaucoma. Between 6 and 12, it's moderate. If it's more than 12, then it's a severe glaucoma. Then they suggest to look at the pattern deviation and start to calculate the numbers of points with a probability 5% and 1%. If points with a probability 5% is less than 25% and those with 1% are less than 15%, then this glaucoma is mild. If the 5% is more than 25% but less than 50 and the 1% is more than 15 but less than 25 it's a moderate glaucoma or if the 5% is more than 50 and the 1% is more than 25 then it's a severe glaucoma the last point is to look at the numbers the sensitivity of the retina if you find in the central 10 degrees, if you find one point with a sensitivity less than 15 decibels in the lower or the upper hemisphere, then it's a moderate glaucoma. But if you find one point in the upper hemisphere and another one in the lower hemisphere with sensitivity less than 15, then it's a severe glaucoma. If you find one point of a sensitivity zero in the central 10 degrees, then it's a severe glaucoma. So let's apply this for this field. Here, the mean deviation is more than 12, then this is a severe glaucoma. The pattern deviation, the examined points are 74, those with a probability half percent are 32, 1% are 5, 2% are 4, 5% are 6 points. Now, if we want to know the number of points showing a probability 1%, then I'm going to include all the points with the 1 and the half. The total will be 73. If you want to see the points with the prob probability 5, then all these points are included then we get the total number of 47 out of 74 so according to this point it's a severe glaucoma now we look to the numbers you can see here we this is field was 30 degrees so this is 3 degrees 9 degrees 3 9 and if you go up this is three and nine locations so this is the central 10 degrees you can see we have several points with the zero one of them just enough one point with the zero to tell it's a severe glaucoma damage just keep in mind if you are examining the central 10 degrees then you get the distance between one location and the next one is 2 degrees but if the field was done using the strategy of 24 or 30 then the distance between one location and the next is 6 degrees so this is the middle line so this is 3 another 6 this is 9 this is the middle line so this is 3 and 9 so this is the central 10 degrees and and 
this situation this is the central 10 degrees because the distance between each test location is 2 and here the distance between test locations is 6 disk damage we can depend on the disk damage likelihood scale you can find details of this in another presentation so should we depend on the field or should we depend on the disk if you depend on the disk if you go to these numbers five six seven stages or eight nine ten this is the more damaged glaucoma then I want to revise with you this paper published back in 2002 when the disk damage likelihood scale they want to see the correlation between their system and the damage of the field according to the publication of 1993 mild moderate severe as you can see here the columns in green are mild the columns in red are severe field damage and the columns in yellow are the moderate and this is the classification of the disk damage likelihood scale if you go to this side this is a more damage if you go to the other side this is less damage and all in all in all these 282 eyes there was a correlation between the disk damage likelihood scale and the amount of field damage and the severity of field damage but if you consider one patient at a time this is what we are dealing with we are, we are treating a single patient you can notice here that we can see some patients with the field damage is severe according to the field the glaucoma damage is severe according to the field while according to the disc damage likelihood scale is mild and again here we can have some patients with marked field changes according to the disc examination but with minimal field changes according to the field so personally I can depend on both the field and the disc and those with more damage I consider if the disc examination is showing severe changes then I will go for severe if the field examination is showing more glaucoma damage then I choose the field I choose the more advanced and I choose my target intraocular pressure accordingly another classification system is the Canadian guidelines in the Canadian guidelines they classify the glaucoma damage as early moderate severe depending on in the early stages you can have early field changes and cup disc ratio less than 0.7 in moderate glaucoma you have a significant field loss but not affecting the central 10 degrees and the cup disc ratio is between 0.7 up to 0.85 in the severe glaucoma you have a visual field affection in the central 10 degrees and a cup disc ratio more than 0.85 so actually if you want to depend on the field if there is extensive changes but not affecting the central area it's a moderate damage if there is affection in the central area this is a severe damage this is according to the Canadian guidelines so here we can see there is severe changes and including the central area central 10 degrees so this is a severe glaucoma now we go to the American guidelines they said that glaucoma can be classified into mild moderate severe according to we have if we have optic disc changes characteristic of glaucoma and a normal white on white field this is early glaucoma so there is no field changes at all but there is disc changes of glaucoma they classify this as early glaucoma or mild glaucoma moderate glaucoma is that if you have the same characteristic field changes but this the characteristic disc changes but on the field you can see field changes in one of the hemispheres in the upper or in the lower hemispheres and it's not included no changes in the central 10 degrees 
if you have disk changes and you have market field changes in both hemispheres or within the central 10 degrees then it's a severe glaucoma so according to the American Acad the American guidelines all these get disc changes of glaucoma but in the early stages there is no changes in white on white field moderate glaucoma you have changes in one of the hemispheres nothing in the central in severe glaucoma you have market damage in upper and lower hemispheres or in the central 10 degrees so again we have here massive changes up and the central part is included then this is a severe glaucoma thank you